fresh, fresh fire. Give me a fresh, fresh fire. I want what you desire. I'm gonna burn for you. Give me a fresh, fresh fire. Give me a fresh, fresh fire. I want what you desire.
Sofredista, Makati Bradeki Akabasta, Candele Brosotolo Brekete, Kete, 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 Eshte, Ni Kriati, let's join this song, then the Levosha, Rakabali Brekete, Kete, 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 Let it 
Hallelujah. Glory, glory, glory to God. Father, we give you praise. Can we just lift up our voices and just say it as a prayer? Lord, I want to burn for you. I want to live for you. I want to be all that you have proposed that I be. Lord God Almighty, have your way. Do what only you can do. Candele brosu fradik yakabashta. Jekete le brekete kete. Ask him for fresh fire. Fresh fire. Le create si brodoko brekete kete kete. Rikala branande le bregede boshta. You can say light a match, let it go. Set a blaze on control. Candele bosha. I want that fire. Le broko soto lo brekete fredeke. I want that fire, la braca zate le brogodosta, jekete le brekete se frodoko bregete, i gabra de se tele bragadosta, rekete le brekete kete 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 kete, set me on fire, oh God, le brago zoto vragadista, e griete si brodoko brekete vredekia, let your fire burn, burn in me, le brogo zoto, raka kaka kaka, le braga zoto. Lo breke te vredekia Rika la brunondo lo breke te vredekia Kubashta Jeke te le breke te kete kete Pray in other tongues Le griete si brodoko breke te vredekia Maka kaka kaka le brunondo Iga bragaza te le breke te kete kete Mandele brege de bo shata la brega dashta. Jekete le brege te se frodosoto. Let there be a switch right now. Le griete si brodoko. Yekete le brega da bashta. Bible says, build it up yourselves or your most holy faith. Pray that the Holy Ghost switch to that right now. Le griete. Makali brogoso to no brege te kete. Yikandele brege de bo shta. Rakabali braga ga 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 ga. Areas where I'm weak. Areas I need strength. Areas I need a 
replenishing areas. I need a supply. Li kriato subro doko break a tevre dekia kmande. Ma praka sotolo break a tevre dekianga. Ubra gize tele broko tovre doko break a tevre dekia. Rikala brunoko break a tevre doko break a tevre dekia. Raka kaka kaka kaka. Rabali brodoko tondo lo break a debosta. Rikele brodoko break a tevre dekia. Rikandele brosutia kaba. Agate frodoso. Ekete kete kete kete. Makati brodoko break a tevre dekia commande. E broso tolo break a tevre dekia. Raka kaka 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 kaka. Rekete le broko sotolo break a tevre dekia. Rikala brnakindo sufrodoko. Wisdom inside revelation understanding. Nanga. O brodoko break a tevre dekia. Jekete le break a sete le braga gaga 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 le broko soto lo breke teke teke te ra ka 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 vo brosu ti akabashta le griete si brodoko get ready to switch le griete si brodik ya kabashta re ke te le breke teke 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 te babu says come into his presence with thanksgiving can we switch to that can we give him praise and bless and magnify his name he's a faithful god he has kept you all true all true from Sunday when we met her to this point in time. This is Thursday. That means Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. He kept you safe and sound. He provided for you. He preserved you. He helped you. He answered your prayers. He delivered you from wicked and unreasonable men. Give him praise from the depths of your heart. Lord, we worship you. We worship you, kind Father. We worship you, kind Father. We give you praise. We give you thanks. Thank you, Father. Mm -hmm. We give you praise. We bless your name. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Le creator super doko break it every day. We give you praise. We give you praise. We bless and magnify your name. You are worthy, Jehovah God. 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 Ekete le broso tolo break it every day. Get ready to switch. Le creator si super doko break it every day. Mandele broko do bosta ha. Pray this prayer that the eyes of my understanding will be enlightened. That you may that the calende brosuti akaba. That the eyes of my understanding will be enlightened. That I may know the hope to which you have called me. The glorious riches of your inheritance in us as saints. Candele bosha rakati brodoso tu. Lord today in service. Rakendele broso tu. Let my eyes be opened in the name of Jesus. Let me hear your word ever so clear. Break forth a conviction in my heart. Let get it. Ma prosoto lo bia. Show me the road map. Ma kali kali kabaru soto lo break it every day kia. Break it, break it. Show me the building blocks. Let kriato sombra ga 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 ga. Ma kati kabaru soto lo break it, break it. Grant me the kelendo bracket do subre gede gede gede. Let kriato subre doko break it, break it, break it, break it. Ma kali brodo soto lo break Break it every day, kia. Raka ka 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 ka. Ma proko soto lo break it every day, kia. Commande. E bro soto lo break it, take it, take it. Ye kete le break it, take it. Let my ears hear your voice ever so clearly, ha. E kabra do soto lo break it, take it. Let my heart increase in learning today in the name of Jesus. Ma proko soto lo break it, take it, take it. Father, we give you praise for answered prayer. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. And the people of God said, Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Glory, glory, glory. Hallelujah. You can share this uh, link with people. I think going forward, please share with some of your friends. You can put it on your status. Do one thing or the other. Bring, uh, invite people to come join in what is going on in the church. Hallelujah. Glory to God. We're still going on on devotion. I think for the past two weeks, we've been talking about devotion. We started with an intro on devotion. So the second week, which was last week, we talked about devotion and we talked a bit about loyalty, love, and 
and enthusiasm towards God and towards things. Uh, and we mentioned different things there. I think we talked about the fact that it's more blessed to give than to receive. I think we talked about thy kingdom come, wherein that we're passionate about his kingdom. I think we talked a bit about uh, if Jesus did, if God did not withhold Jesus from us, how will he not freely give? So God showed his own devotion towards us. We looked at where uh, people needed to be devoted, where they are, the work of their hands were concerned, and the various things that happened that Oliab and um, uh, Bezael were called upon, and it was uh, and was the fact that they were skilled in what they did with so many other people. But one of the things that we looked at, that was in Exodus chapter 36 from verse 1 to 7, we saw that the people gathered together, and it was the devotion which they had towards God that allowed them to give to the point whereby even the minister of God, the man of God, the pastor, the, the uh, shepherd at that point in time, which was Moses, had to tell them, please stop. No, no more giving. It wasn't about compulsion. It wasn't about, okay, let me look. Okay, I'm doing kalu kalu. I'm going to give five so that God will do a hundredfold and I have five hundred and so that's why they're giving. No, they gave out of devotion to God. That was why they were able to be blessed. That's why the blessing is still flowing in the children of Israel till today. The present day Jews are still experiencing some of the benefits that their forefathers uh, purchased and, uh, and blocked up for them. Hallelujah. Glory to God. And that those are some of the things we took home as um, uh, take home points so that we could begin to look at some of the things that we need to change, some of the things that we need to restructure, that in our giving, it shouldn't be out of compulsion, it shouldn't be out of a rule, it shouldn't be out of that, okay, they said, no, it should be out of devotion. How much has God done for me? How much did Jesus do for me? The life I'm living now, is it not as a result of Jesus having died on the cross of Calvary for me, that he stood there for six hours? No, he didn't stay there. He suffered for six hours on the cross, that he was spat upon, pierced, uh, slapped, all kinds of things were done to him before even the crucifixion, and yet he endured all this uh, for the joy of the cross. Uh, he endured all this. Uh, somebody will call it a shame of the cross, but Jesus saw it as joy, why he could see us as a result of that cross at the end of the day. And so he was joyful enough to go on the cross and suffer the death of a criminal so that we could have some benefits. Hallelujah. And that, those were some of the things we looked at. We saw that when we decided to be devoted to God, Bible said in 1 Corinthians chapter 2, verse 9, that no eye has seen, no ear has heard what things God has prepared for those that love him. Notice, don't forget the definition for devotion. One of the definitions is the love, the loyalty, and the enthusiasm for things or for a person, and that person we're talking about is God. So when we are enthusiastic about God, Bible says no eye has seen, no ear has heard, it has not entered into the hearts of men, the things which God has prepared for us. So we need to know that when we go on the road, on the pathway of enthusiasm towards God, the pathway of loyalty towards God, the pathway of love towards God, in essentially the pathway of devotion towards God, that there are rewards. One of the rewards is that no eye has seen, no ear has said, no, it has not entered in the hearts of men. That means God is going to do beyond, beyond that which we know, beyond that which is our experience, beyond that which we've ever contemplated, because God is said to do unprecedented things at this time. That's why we know in these last days, He's going to be doing a lot of things. Hallelujah. And we need to be plugged in. Devotion is the bedrock. Hallelujah. I remember mentioning that because that came out of my spirit the first time I was talking about devotion. God spoke to me and told me to say that devotion is the bedrock of your existence. And we've been seeing in various parts that devotion is. I'm sure if you were in church on Sunday, I talked a little bit about devotion towards God and I just uh, decided to talk a bit about so that people could understand that devotion is not just about things, uh, about God only. It's also about things. How devoted are you towards your career? How devoted are you towards your academics? How devoted are you towards your marriage? How devoted are you towards your family? How devoted are you towards the relationship God has given to you? How devoted are you towards God, towards His things, towards His cause? How devoted? The more devoted you are, the more rewards and results you will have in your life as a result of the devotion. Devotion always produces results. Devotion always produces rewards. And those rewards are guaranteed. So it's not if, it's 
not maybe it is it shall come to pass so we need to position ourselves in the road of it shall come to pass how by us being devoted to god to his cause to his person and to his things hallelujah glory to god so we'll be moving on um on our journey of devotion hallelujah i'm just going to be saying some few things today because i've realized i need to say a lot of these things in church on sunday where a larger gathering are are there i want to be able to speak to more people so that they can understand and we can we can stem uh, and stop the 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 downward slope that satan is trying to bring towards people and move ourselves towards a better trajectory wherein we're moving upward and moving higher where the bible says clearly that the path of the righteous man continues to shine brighter and brighter unto a perfect day hallelujah glory to god hallelujah now i'm just going to be doing something a bit different i'm going to be reading another definition of devotion in fact quite sincerely several definitions of devotion because i want us to look at it from different angles different spaces different uh, paradigms so that we can be able to get the full picture hallelujah so i see another trans um, another uh, definition saying devotion is a profound dedication or an earnest attachment to a cause, to a person, or to a dating. A profound dedication or an earnest attachment to a cause, to a person, or to a deity. I'll say one more time. A profound dedication or an earnest attachment to a cause, to a person, or to a deity. In um, religious parlance, it says the, um, devotion is a religious favor. That's a religious uh, determination. Um, favor as in F-E-R-V-O-R. Favor. That's a heart. Uh, a, 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 that you are, you are earnest. You are determined. You are, you are fully involved. You are on fire towards God, towards the things of God, towards the things and the causes of God. It also says in another um, rendition, it says devotion is loyalty and love or care for someone or something. I'll read it again. It's loyalty and love or care for someone or something. Hallelujah. It's strong love or loyalty to um, shown towards a person or a thing by paying attention, close attention towards someone or something i'll say it again is a strong love or loyalty shown towards a person or thing by paying much attention to someone or something hallelujah so those definitions define uh to a large extent what devotion is so just in case there's somebody under the sound of my voice that is still wondering why are we studying devotion this is telling you that it's a profound dedication so it's not mere dedication is profound it is clear is distinct it is earnest it is heartfelt it is involving it's not the kind that you are talking with your lips but your mind is not there no it's not the kind that your mind is there but you are not acting no it's not that it's not the one that you are you you feel it in your heart but you are not speaking with your mouth nor are you feeling having it a consciousness in the mind no it takes the wholeness uh, the wholeness it takes the triune nature of man to be able to say you are fully devoted to God. It's a profound dedication from the spirit man. It oozes out into your soul, oozes out into your body and it moves you. It, it, it propels you. It compels you. It's an earnest attachment. Huh? They, they want to pry you away from it, but you are grabbing a hold of it. You are hugging it tight. Huh? You are holding it there like, oh, candele shake it reminds me of when R.W. Shambat said, uh, hang on to the alls of the, uh, hang on to the horns of the altar. God has your name with your, uh, God has a, a miracle with your name on it. He said that because he knew that dedication, uh, full earnest attachment uh, to the fact that God can do the impossible will cause the impossible to be done on your behalf. So I'll say it again, like R.W. Shambat said, hang on to the horns of the altar 
altar. God has a miracle with your name on it. So hang on. So you hang on there. You stay there. You are earnest. You are attached uh, fully. Life can't pry you away from it. The circumstance of life cannot pry you away from it. The, 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 the distractions of life cannot pry you away. So you are earnest. Uh, you are attached to a cause. What cause are you attached to? It reminds me of Matthew chapter 6 verse 33. That's where the premise of that scripture is coming from. It said, seek ye first the kingdom of God and its righteousness and all other things shall be added unto you. It was from the premise of you being devoted to God. It was from the premise of you fully being earnest and attached to the causes of God. Seek ye first the way of God doing things. Seek ye first the kingdom of God. God's way of doing and being right. Seek ye first the kingdom of God and its righteousness. If you look at the Amplified Version, it says seek ye first the, uh, seek ye first the kingdom of God. God's way of doing and being right. Uh, and all other things shall be added unto you. Every earthly thing shall be added unto you. So you see here, with your devotion to God, it provokes um, when it's earnest. When it's earnest. Oh, ho, I see it now. In fact, I'm just saying this. When the Bible says in James chapter 5, and it talks about the heart felt, earnest prayer of a righteous man, makes tremendous power available and is dynamic in its working. It's not the heart, it's not the half-hearted prayer of a righteous man. No, it's not the prayer of a righteous man that is just there. No, he said it's the heartfelt, fervent, earnest prayer of a righteous man, makes tremendous power available. So that person was devoted in his prayer. He was the kindelable shikidia. He believed in the fact that when he prayed, uh, when she prayed, uh, kindelable shikidia, there will be an answer. Kindelable ka subrodoso to a kindelable gideba o kindelable sha a kindelable yakaba. That's why I now have an understanding. I hope you are getting this understanding. That's why saw Samuel's mom when she was praying uh, in the temple and was praying honestly, fervently. Le kieto subrodik yakaba. She had been barren for a while. Uh, she had been barren for a while. She had gone to that same place, to Shiloh, several times, but there was no answer. But this time around, when she mixed it with devotion, when she mixed it with spiritual favor, when she mixed it with earnest attachment to the causes of God, when she put it that, ah, God, if you give me this child, I will give him back to you. There was an answer from heaven. The womb had to open because now she had kicked in. She was on the highway. Candelebo shake it she was on the highway. She was on the highway of devotion. So she was able to get an answer. Mm -mm -mm. I dare say maybe there are some people under the sound of my voice uh, right now uh, that you understand Keleke Brodoso Fradikia. You understand uh, right now because of what I just said uh, that that was the missing piece uh, in your manifestation. Uh, get on it right now. Uh, be fervent. Kendele Bosha. Ernest. Kandele Biakaba. Libroko Sotolo Biakaba. Reketele Brogodobosha. Hang on to the horns of the altar. God has a miracle with your name name on it. There can be that turnaround. There can be that change. This month, this month, this month, this month. In fact, I hear this week, for somebody under the sound of my voice, I heard this week, this week, before this week runs out. That miracle, Lakita hang on. Be firm and be earnest and get into that place. Okay. 
Have you ever wondered why it is that when you pray and you just pray just a simple skeleton, skeleton prayer, nothing much is done. But sometimes when you know this is an SOS prayer, this is all I have got. And you pray those, uh, I call it SOS prayers. You pray those SOS prayers from the heart. In fact, sometimes you don't shout. It's just from the heart. Ah, you pray that prayer and you see manifestation. What is going on is that you get Kalimbro Sutiakaba. You were involved. Your your triune nature was involved in that prayer and it unlocked Calibra Casunto. It unlocked what you needed. Kandeligi, Urus Kalakariakaba, Legete Proso Toleriakaba, Legente Lebrega, Fakundus Gubriakaba, Legete Lebrega de Bosca, Loyalty and Love or for a cause, no, Loyalty and Love or Care for someone or something. Kandele Bosha. I want us to know this uh, that God knows, He knows our heart. Sometimes we do things and we do it. Men look and say, wow, wow. But you know the reason why you are doing it. Are you doing it to be seen? Are you doing it to be praised? Are you doing it for that? Or are you doing it out of a heart? Sincerely yearning. Sincerely, earnestly. Candele Bosha. Attached to God's cause, to his person, and to his date. Kali Gebroso. Is it out of profound dedication? Is it out of loyalty? Is it out of enthusiasm? Him. Is it out of love for him? Is it out of a strong love or loyalty? That you are doing those things because if it is it's only a matter of time. It shall come to pass. Will show up for you. It shall come to pass. Join I mean prayer right now la gato brodoso freke tiki un gali gabra russo tolo breke de gede gede ye kete le bragasita fradoso bracande le brege de gede gede rakito su frudiki ye kebosha ye kete le breke teke things are changing makatika o brodoso fredekia because we're now engaging the triune nature of your keke de le broso tolo your spirit soul and body is involved right now ma prokoso tolo breke te put so po russe teli akaba Reketele brekete kete 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 makali brodoso tolo brekete vredeka mekendele a pick some pakundo libige kundu subiye geboje e getele brekete kete kete hmm. And the Lebo Shaketi Akaba, Pekendolo Brogodobo Soto, Libro Kosoto, Lekete Le Brekete, pick a particular prayer point and pray right now in the atmosphere. He came the Lebo Sha, he came the Lebo Sha, he Kabaru Soto, Brekete, Makali Brogoso, Tolo Brekete, there is a turnaround, La Kakakakaka, Makali Brogoso, Tolo Brekete, Vredekia, Mekendele Bosha, Rika Kakaka. Just like Samuel's mother, Lakin de Lebosha, Rakakakakaka, Makakakakaka, Ropokoso Bakarika, Bakakoko Bakakakaka, Makakakakaka, Rekekekeke, Lush de la Bragadabasta, Maprakandolo Bosheketi, Rikatika, Vrodoso, Breketeketeketi, Oh, Hallelujah, Glory, 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 Kan de Lebosha, Le Brada Sotolobiakba, Ek. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Glory to God. Glory to God. Glory to God. Leka Labashta. A strong love or loyalty shown towards a person or a thing. A strong love or loyalty. Likandele Brodoso Tolobiakaba. I'd like to address once again uh, everyone under the sound of my voice. Uh, Akindolobosha is your service up to the level that it's a strong love, uh, strong loyalty, strong enthusiasm towards God. We can reorganize. We can rekindle produces. We can recalibrate because a change is necessary for the manifestations we desire. A change is necessary. We will not continue to do the same thing over and over and expect a different result. We change something, and that's what we change right now. A devotion, a strong love or loyalty, shown towards a 
person or a thing by paying attention. Yeah. Nya 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 kabando egande lingo dunga genga ndo zonga ganga nga 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 ndo zon egenga ndo ndo ngo nga 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 ndo ngenga nga ndo egenga ndo nga 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 ndo zon ngo ndi nga gaba ah kunda sa okay you must understand that in your career proper attention should be given to details to things that matter candle bo shiki there not everything matters candle be yakoba especially even where your career is concerned especially where your business is concerned technical know how is necessary where business or career is concerned pay attention now pay close attention pay much attention and you will see that devotion even where your career is concerned will all kondele kiki will ringo to we will release re- Words and results uh, which you did not know you could experience. Candle bosha, bikendulu progodo bosha, legete lo produso. A strong love or loyalty shown towards a person or a thing. Paying attention to someone or something. Pay attention. Pay attention. Even in church, pay attention towards the words being spoken. Uh, apply it. Prokondulikia. Uh, it's not just so to hear. It is so that you can hear to do. Ekele brogo soto. Ekriye kenduso bragada. It's to hear to do. Kandele bosha. To hear build an image that causes you to do. Aya, aya, aya. Oh, hallelujah. Glory, 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 glory. Oh, hallelujah. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Glory to God. Glory to God. Let's look at some people in the Bible that showed devotion. I've been using the examples. I want to give you scriptural references for some of the things which they did, which were remarkable, to say the least. It was remarkable that these people, uh, they didn't really have a template, but yet it was the devotion that created the template for them. What do I mean? Let me show you one. Let's look at Genesis chapter 21. Genesis 21. Genesis 21. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Verse 4. Okay. The Lord graciously remembered and visited. I'm reading from verse 1, sorry. Uh, graciously remembered and visited Sarah as he had said. And the Lord did for her as he had promised. So Sarah conceived and gave birth to a son for Abraham in his old age. At the appointed time at which God had spoken to him, Abraham named his son Isaac, laughter, the son to whom Sarah gave birth. So Abraham circumcised his son Isaac when he was eight days old, just as God had commanded him. Sir, Ma, I'm not sure in all the renditions so far that God had spoken to Abraham, circumcise yourself, because I'm sure Abraham was not circumcised, but God commanded Abraham to circumcise, something that had never been done before. An unprecedented action was being spoken by God, and Abraham was devoted enough, loyal enough, committed enough, paid attention to every detail God said, and so Abraham did what God said, and at the end of the day, Isaac was circumcised on that day. Abraham was a hundred years old when his son Isaac was born. And yet Abraham circumcised Isaac. You, I, I, uh, for men in the house, circumcision uh, is not uh, enjoyable. For the women, it isn't. So you understand that Abraham did something for a baby that was just being born. And we do that now. It came from then. He started something God spoke to him. And from then on, everyone born in a particular um, uh, understanding usually get circumcised. Usually get circumcised. Usually do. It was devotion that he was willing. See, this was his child of promise. This was the child that God had said, well, in, you, in him will all the families of the earth be blessed. This was the child. Yet Abraham could take a knife and circumcise, could forget about everything that 
could look like, ah, I'm not doing. But Abraham's devotion was clear, was distinct, was earnest. His attachment to God and to his causes and to the deity called God was complete. Complete. Let's look at Noah. I'm coming back to Abraham. Let's look at Noah. Uh, let, let, me, let me jump to Noah. Noah. Genesis chapter 6. Genesis 6. Genesis 6. Okay. I believe. Oh. Okay, so let me read from verse 13. God said to Noah, I intend to make an end of all that lives for true men. The land is filled with violence. Behold, I'm about to destroy them together with the land. Make yourself an ark of gopher wood. Make it in rooms, stalls, pens, coops, nests, cages, compartments, and coat it inside and out with pitch, bitumen. This is the way you are to make it. The length of the ark shall be 300 cubits, its width 50 cubits, and its height 30 cubits. 450 well, let me just, you shall make a window for light and ventilation for the ark and finish it at least a cubit, 18 inches from the top and set the entry door of the ark in its side. And you shall make it with lower second and third decks. For behold, I, even I, will bring a flood of waters on the earth to destroy all life under the heavens in which there is the breath and spirit of life. Everything that is on the land shall die. And I will establish my covenant, solemn promise, formal agreement with you. And you shall come into the ark and you and your three sons and your wife and your son's wives with you. And of every living thing found on land, you shall bring two of every kind into the ark to keep them alive with you. They shall be male and female. Of the fowls and the birds, according to their kind, of animals, according to their kind, of every crawling thing of the ground, according to its kind, two of every kind shall come to you to keep them alive. Also take with you every kind of food that is edible, and shall collect and store it, and it shall be food for you and for them. And so Noah did this according to all that God commanded him. That is what he did. Hallelujah. Please understand it very clearly. It had not dropped dew, dew on earth, talk less of rain. They had never experienced rain on the earth. But God gave specific, clear instructions. The kind of instructions that people will say you are mad. God gave him those kind of instructions to do. And the man went and did. His devotion to God was complete. The man went and did. And because he went and did, this is 2021. We are talking about Noah who was who was millennia ahead of Christ. This is 2021. 2021 years after Christ was dead. This is somebody that lived millennia ago and we're still talking about him. Why? He did what was required. He, out of his devotion to God, he brought about that one of the rewards was honor. We would always talk about Noah and his obedience to God and how he saved mankind. By his devotion to God, he saved mankind. By his devotion to God, he saved mankind. According to the scriptures, because of Noah's obedience, that's why we are all alive life or else god had said everyone that is on the earth on the land will die so it was noah and his wife and his three sons and their wives that god used as the remnants to bring about a complete repopulation of the world so you notice here because of his devotion god could use him to be a blessing to us and give us an opportunity to be on earth god could use him if he was not devoted we will not be here but because of his devotion we are here god chose a man and bible says that god looked for and chose a man and spoke to the man and the man was loyal enough loved god enough paid attention to every detail God said and the man went and did what God had spoken and commanded to him that's why we talk about Noah that's why we talk about Noah his devotion to God in this particular 
uh, uh, situation was complete. We need to uh, check whether our devotion is complete. What are we doing? What can we do more for God, for his ways, for his causes, for his person, for his things? What more can we do for him? That's how our heart should be yearning. This man went around. From Bible history, it says he did it for 120 years, searching for different kinds of animals, bringing them in, nurturing them, doing all kinds of... Please imagine. In fact, let me not let you imagine because some of these things are completely unfathomable. How do you... If Let's say the first animal he caught. Please tell me, how old will be the animal when he's locking up? 120. Are animals able to live up to 120? So think, 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 think. Oh, how did he catch the snake? How did he catch the lion? How did he catch the tiger? How did he, so you, do you understand? There were things that had to be done, wisdoms that had to be brought. But this man, because of his devotions, walked in some levels of insights and wisdom that even mankind, so mankind in this present day and age, may not even yet have walked in it. This was a man that was crude, but God gave him insight, revelation, understand, because of his devotion to him. I dare say God will give you revelation, insights, concepts, innovations, creativity that will baffle mankind as we get devoted to him. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Glory to God. She bradaki ando sufrodoko. In Genesis chapter 7, Let's let's go there. Genesis seven. We're still looking at it. Seven, I believe, is verse one. Then the Lord said to Noah, "Come into the ark, you with all your household, for you alone I have seen as righteous, doing what is right before me in this generation. Of every clean clean animal, you shall take with you seven pair." the male and his female, and of animals that are not clean to each, the male and his female, and of the birds of the air, seven pair, the male and the female, to keep the offspring alive on the surface of the earth. Seven pair. I really don't know the... Uh, let me leave that. And in, this, in seven days, I'm going to cause it to rain on the earth for 40 days and 40 nights, and I'll destroy, blot out, wipe away every living thing that I have made from the surface of the earth. So Noah did all that the Lord commanded him. Noah was 600 years old when the flood, the deluge of water, came on the earth, covering all the land. Covering all the land. This is Noah's rendition that he followed what God said. He followed what God said. He followed what God said. Please follow what God is saying at these times and at this season. Devotion is important. Hallelujah. Uh, let me go back to Abraham. Genesis chapter 22. 22. Genesis 22. Genesis 22. 22. Uh, okay. Hallelujah. Wow. Genesis 22. Okay. Let me read from verse 3 quickly. Okay. Oh, so Abraham got up early in the morning, saddled his donkey and two of his young men with him and his son Isaac, and he split the wood for the burnt offerings. And then he got up and went to the place of which God had told him. On the third day of travel, Abraham looked up and saw the place in the distance. Abraham said to his servant, Settle down and stay here with the donkey. The young man and I will go over there and worship God and we will come back to you. Notice that statement. Then Abraham took the wood for the burnt offering and laid it on the shoulders of Isaac, his son. And he took the fire, fire pot in his own hand and the sacrificing knife. And the two of them walked on together. And Isaac said to Abraham, my father, he said, here am I, my son. Isaac said, look, the fire and the wood, but where is the lamb for the burnt offering? Abraham said, my son, God will provide for himself a lamb for the burnt offering. So the two walked on. When they came to the place of which God had told him, Abraham built an altar there and arranged the wood and bound Isaac, his son, and placed him on the altar on top of the wood. Abraham reached out his hand and took the knife to kill his son. But the angel of the Lord called to him from heaven and said, Abraham, Abraham. He answered, here I am. The Lord said, 
do not reach out with the knife in your hand against the boy and do nothing to harm him. For now I know that you fear God with reverence and profound respect, since you have not withheld from me your son, your only son of promise. Please understand this because of Abraham's actions towards God. God had a, a now a legal right to do the same for mankind. Abraham offered his son, his only son, as far as God was concerned, based on the covenant, his only son. He offered the child of promise, Kandele Bosha. He offered the child of promise to God, and God stopped him and said, you don't have to. Rather, I will send my own son to die for the sins of mankind. So God had to, by reciprocal duty, send forth his son, called Jesus to die on the cross of Calvary for all the sins of mankind. God tested Abraham and Abraham passed the test. Abraham's devotion was tested and it was seen to be genuine. It was seen to have earnest attachment. It was seen to have a profound love. It was seen to have profound uh, loyalty, strong love. It was seen to kalimbrege deboso to it fulfilled all the criteria of devotion. So that was why God responded out of heaven. Stop. Here is a ram. Don't kill that boy. Devotion matters. Devotion matters. Devotion matters. Abraham didn't wait, like I said on Sunday, or was it on Thursday, last week, Thursday? Abraham didn't wait and say, well, God, I'm, you know, you know, you know, uh, let me do it in 12 o'clock. Then he moves to 4 o'clock. And God is late. Let me not start this journey. No, Abraham went early in the morning. Went. He went and did. He went and did. He went and did. The instructions of God, he went and did. The instructions of God for you, you should go and do. Do it quickly. Do it pray, uh, quickly. Do it quickly. Let me let me let me let me let me read Acts chapter 17, verse uh, 3. Acts 17. Okay, so let me read from verse 2. And Paul entered the synagogue as was his custom. And for three Sabbaths, he engaged in discussion and friendly debate with them from the scriptures. What was he talking about? See what Paul was talking about. Explaining and pointing out scriptural evidence that it was necessary for the Christ to suffer and to rise from the dead. And saying, this Jesus whom I am proclaiming to you is Christ the Messiah, the anointed one. Paul can deliver shake it here. I need to bring this out. Paul had evidence to show that Jesus that can do super. Paul had evidence to show that Jesus' devotion was complete. Paul could show that Jesus had to suffer, had to die, that the death and the suffering of Jesus was for a reason. And he showed by scripture by scripture, chapter by chapter, that it was spat upon so that it will not be spat upon, that this happened, uh, that by stripes we are healed. He showed all those things. How? Because Jesus went through all those things. Because Jesus said, when he was saying, Lo, I have come to do the will of God, as written in the volume of the books. There are things written about you. There are things God has spoken about you. Are you earnestly, diligently going towards fulfilling those things which he has spoken? That's where devotion should drive you. Devotion should drive you that there will be evidences on earth to show that you are following in the footsteps of Jesus in his earnest devotion to God. Hallelujah. Glory to God. One more, one more. Let me just quickly throw this in. Ah, Okay, let me just read Second Timothy chapter four, verse five. We'll pick up on this. Second Timothy chapter four. Okay, Second Timothy four. No, look. Four five. Okay. But as for you, 
be clear-headed in every situation. Stay calm and cool and steady. Endure every hardship without flinching. Do the work of an evangelist. Fulfill the duties of your ministry. I'll round up with this. One of the ways that we can show our devotion to God is through our sharing the gospel with people. You may not be the one that goes into the places and talks, but you can give the tracts that can bring them. You can Post the program that can bring them. You can pray for the man of God that will preach the word. But by all means, find creative ways of contributing towards the kingdom of God. You can be the one that serves, the, the, the usher that ushered so well that the person was touched to hear the word. You can be the 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 the, 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 so the sound engineer that uh, organized everything and the person was like, wow, wow. You can be the singer that sang, that ushered the presence of God, that the person could hear the word and get saved. Whichever we put in your best, devotion requires that we give our best to God. Hallelujah. I'll stop here so that I'll condition to the break of the bush. And the break of the Yakaba. Le brosoto lo break it. Take it, take it. So I'm going to say something very clearly. Let's give our best to God. Ourselves, our strength, our efforts, our time, our money, all that we are. Let's give it to God. Let's give it to God. Devotion is essential. Is essential. And I hope you know that the, every principle I shared here can also be used in the office to produce maximum results. Can be used in the marriage to produce maximum results. Be devoted. Be devoted. Just start doing what is required. Hallelujah. I'm going to play that song again. And when we come back after the song, We'll give our offerings and then we'll close for the day. Hallelujah. Glory, glory, glory. I trust you, Jehovah God. Set us on fire. Set us ablaze in the name of Jesus.
light a match. To light a match and let it go. Set a blaze uncontrolled. I want that fire. Hallelujah, glory, 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 glory. Hallelujah. Please, you can、um, package your offerings. I believe the information is on the WhatsApp chat room、um, and also in the speaker chat room so you can check to see so that you can sow your seed. Hallelujah. Amen to Jesus. So we can sow our seeds. Hallelujah. If you are ready, please just let's sow together right now. Or、oh, let me give you a, a moment to get that information set. Okay. 
Okay. So give me a fresh, fresh fire. Give me a fresh, fresh fire. I want what you desire. I want to burn for you. Give me a fresh, fresh fire. Give me a fresh, fresh fire. I want what you desire. I want to burn for you. Oh, light a match. Let it go. Set a blaze. Uncontrolled. I want that fire. I want that fire. Hallelujah. Glory to God. So let's just give our offerings. Father, in the name of Jesus, we give you the praise and all the glory. Lord, we bring our offerings before you. We wave it in appreciation of your goodness and your mercy. Lord, as we're doing this, we know that, Lord, it's also a testament of our devotion towards you. We thank you, Jehovah God, for all that you are doing in our lives. And we bring this as a sacrifice unto you. Lord, that is pleasing in your sight. We give you the praise and all the glory. We connect to every grace and anointing being released in this place. And we thank you because, Lord, we see manifestations of your goodness. We see rewards as a result of our devotion towards you. We see results, unfathomable results, as a, de- as a, a result of our devotion towards you. We thank you, Lord God Almighty, for answered prayer in Jesus' mighty name. And the people of God said... Amen. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Okay, so let's um, sow our seeds. Please let's um, be available for Sunday service. We'll be having an awesome time in God on Sunday. Get ready, get set, favor like you've never heard it before. Uh, That's what you're going to have on Sunday. God bless you mightily. Do have a wonderful, wonderful day. And bye, bye.